Thanks for coming out, everybody. I was trying to run the printer and find uh, the difference what a fluoride molecule looks like and what a hydrofluorosilicic acid molecule looks like. You probably can't see it from out there, so uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I'm trying to hide from the microphone, I'm sorry. Uh, well, anyways, this is what's in the water. It's not just fluoride, it's industrial waste, folks. And we pay money for it. It's been going on since 1966. In 1966, a plebiscite was held. Edmontonians decided that they wanted to protect their teeth with fluoride in the water. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, the, uh, we can get fluoride from many sources now if we want it. Um, the, and we can consent to it if we want it. This is done without consent. Uh, I mean, well, I got a lot of notes here, but let me tell you, I just, I don't know. I don't know how, how to get you to take a petition and get it to your friends and pressure this new city council to do the right thing from the beginning and get rid of fluoride. We uh, can't account for the overuse of fluoride. Needless to say, one glass of water might have 0.7 parts per million in it. They inspect that. It's, it's good that they monitor it, but do they monitor how many times you gargle in a week or bath or shower or what your horse drinks? Poor Tickle's there. He's getting probably two to 500 times much as much as is recommended. Uh, Health Canada calls 0.7 parts per million optimum. I would ask them optimum for what? For someone to get paid somewhere. Someone's getting paid. And as a matter of fact, it's not even a Canadian factory that we buy the sludge from. Environment Canada encourage us to work on a precautionary principle that if there's any risk involved, we're to err on the side of caution. Is that what EPCOR is doing by putting fluoride in the water? No. No. Can we protect our teeth? Do we have the information to protect our teeth nowadays? Yes. <sighs> know your candidate's position. Sign the petition. Regardless of their stand on fluoride during this election, we, and I mean you, have the power to place this before City and EPCOR almost immediately. We stand a good chance of getting a moratorium and letting Edmontonians and surrounding communities choose for themselves how to protect their teeth. Calgary done it, Kamloops done it. 99% of, of the world's cities have de defluoridated or they aren't using it. 60% of Canadian cities have gotten rid of it. What's wrong with Edmonton? Have we, have we lost it? There is no federal law or provincial law requiring its use, so again, new city mayor and councillors, please tell us upon which data you re rely for this critically important and expensive measure. If in, uh, municipalities are the future of this province, we ask you today, especially today, to simply join with the thousands upon thousands of scientists, chemists, neurosurgeons, and professionals who've already studied the evidence so that you can get on with your jobs of making sound decisions for the people of Edmonton and the raft of outlying communities relying on EPCOR water.